everybody. Um, I'm going to do some uh, intuitive work. Uh, making somewhat um, mysterious and uh, messy background. And uh, this is mixed media. I will uh, mix media paper. I think it's uh, 200 grams. Uh, I'm working on the, the more textured uh, side. <clears throat> Many times I start with uh, gluing uh, uh, all sorts of paper, mainly, mainly my um, painted paper, uh, but then it takes uh, longer to dry, so um, maybe I'll, I'll uh, glue some of this and basically make um, marks and scribbles, use these kinds of um, tools. What else? Um, uh, what else? Mm, nothing special. Okay. Um, while I'm working, I will try to add more. This is... Um, uh, charcoal. Um, I can start by uh, just scribbling. I like the, the sound of it. Um, usually when I do this, uh, I uh, eventually come up with uh, some face abstraction. You see? <laughs> um, this can be already an option, but uh, I will continue um, use some water spread some water where, where is the water this uh, is a water okay now what uh, um, This is uh, like widow, uh, Woody, um, it's from Lyra. usually uh, make um, surprising um, surprising shapes um, I do this also where is my um, use this right. uh, this is very relaxing uh, what else? let's bring uh, some uh, acrylics uh, usually make uh, makes the, the surface uh, harder and the more uh, stable to work on. Yes, I do have something here. Uh, as long as you stay loose, it doesn't matter which hand you use. Try not to uh, go over the same place too much just randomly go over like this uh, what's the good about using some painted paper is that um, 
if you use random uh, painted paper, they create um, surprising elements or uh, uh, things in the painting that uh, that can be a starting point. I will continue with uh, with paint. Some of it got muddy, but the mud, the mud is also a color. And sometimes near uh, certain uh, colors, it looks it looks beautiful. What else? Let's bring this blue. I like it. I can make some kind of marks also. Um, we already have here uh, two warm colors and this is cold, this is somewhat cold. Um, I think uh, that uh, I use many times I use the rule that most of the work, uh, if the most of the work is with cold colors, I add a bit of uh, warm colors in places. Um, I'm not trying to uh, even them. I think doing things too symmetric, too symmetrical, uh, sometimes uh, it doesn't allow the eye to travel around the work. I think that some of the, the rules I'm talking about are rules that I developed with time and uh, I'm mainly doing them subconsciously, so I'm trying to verbalize uh, my process. Okay. Uh, what we we'll do here? Um, let me see what I feel like doing. Uh, Maybe I use I have this green that uh, feel like a nice color and I have this so maybe I'll add them This whole um, play uh, is very much uh, relaxing and um, I can use my brush to some um, make some um, to use them around you know what I will um, I will use 
the, the green and let them somewhat um, mix in some places. It will uh, make some uh, brownish areas. I didn't mean to make the paper so wet, <laughs> but it still is. Um, let the let the colors um, uh, travel. The, the page is uh, something that creates um, nice uh, nice elements. Okay, let's let's spread it a bit, and then I think uh, I will uh, try it with um, this is too green. I'll help it move like this. Uh, we get nice areas like this. Yeah. The color underneath might be not not dry yet, so uh, it pulls. Gives nice uh, tones here. I can say now that the most of the not the, most of this page it doesn't have to be uh, cover all <laughs> the white spots. <laughs> But is it is an uh, obsession of mine, I would say. I'm trying not to blend too much. Uh, I will try it now. Okay, this is dried enough. Um, you, you see when it's crinkling like this, it's not totally dry, but it's dry enough uh, to keep working. Um, while I, I was uh, drying it, I saw... I can find many things in here. So, uh, even if I wish to find something, um, I will find it. Um, I found... Um, like a vase or uh, or a plant on on a table uh, with all this area of flowers and these shapes reminds me of flowers Just uh, trying to see. Um, think this this base um, sketch um, will um, um, will able me uh, to abstract uh, what I see now. It doesn't have to be um, proportionally right. something even um, a wonky weird um, elements um, can make 
nice to the eyes and fun uh, activity so let's start I don't want to touch this these areas too much because they already look like flowers um, I will try not to not to overwork it and <laughs> ruin this um, Okay, I'll start with adding some um, dark colors here and um, make some uh, leaves here with, with greens. All right. Different kind of greens. Dark green. Um, I pulled out um, a few I don't have I don't have a rack to clean my brushes no. okay it's here um, all right uh, this kind of brush the other kind of brush and I pulled some other brush while I'm working, um, okay, let's add a bit of uh, this grungy brush, just a bit of dark green here. green I'm trying to do this uh, as whimsy as I can because my tendency is to make things look uh, realistic um, make random shapes random um, direction all right maybe i put some here some um dark green the dark greens um are the um, the things that uh needs to look deeper so it will have some kind of uh um some kind of dimensional feel to it All right, now for the flowers. Uh, let me see how I can use the what we have here. I can use the. Let me see what brush. I can use this brush. Uh, so. With color it gets more uh, not to control I see here a center of flower uh, maybe I'll take um, red and orange and this pink I'm trying to play with the, the movements and the uh, direction of what I do. And I don't care yeah, if, the, um, if the color are a bit mixing. Uh, it's, it's actually very nice, I would say, them being mixed. You 
see already we have uh, some kind of uh, um, abstract flowers needs to be uh, maybe suggested like work with um, round uh, movements I think I need uh, make some center to this um, it's like I'm, uh, I'm I'm doing this this movement and the dancing with it okay maybe a bit of center here a bit of center here I think until it dries and until I work on uh, stop it now <laughs> all right now um, and in the meantime, I will leave this pot where with um, with the colors here. Uh, I will paint the background and the, the table. Uh, what should I do with the table? What color? Um, I kind of like this color, but. Um, I think we need some kind of um, contrast. Okay, that the, the black uh, will run into what I do. The end using the end of uh, these tubes is very frustrating sometimes. This is why I prefer jars. We don't have to do it uh, right dimensionally, uh, but some some uh, elements um, can be nice, like uh, doing some um, um, shadows. Here I will do them with shadows. Us usually are um, uh, uh, cold color. Maybe I use both of these, uh, but it can be warm and dark color. I will go back with the uh, with some uh, I think it's need blue it needs blue here. I'm trying uh my aesthetic wants to see something that is uh, more like a naive art. I uh, bring a pencil and draw some things. The edges. I will use 
to use the uh, Stabilo O, uh, what is it? I did make some, uh, maybe I can use the um, uh, colorful pencil. this all right let me see uh, I, use... I want to use some interesting uh, color unexpected color i will leave it here i see what i'm going to use all right let's try with this dark blue This is the vase, uh, this is the table, these are the legs, I'm uh, making it with, uh, you know, with dark would have been uh, nice too, um, maybe I'll put some uh, I want to work on it more, a bit more, so um, uh, I'm, when I paint, I usually jump from area to area because I don't want to work too much in one area and all other um, are neglected. It's like I'm jumping around and balancing, balancing um, uh, colors, balancing... Um, um, texture okay uh, I want to work now no I will do the background first I want to make it uh, a bit lighter maybe with this yes this color palette reminds me of Italy Uh, when we do a uh, whimsical painting, uh, we can leave um, like naive painting, whimsical painting. Uh, we can leave the edges uh, like you see where the where we uh, where we stopped it. Uh, you can see the the border lines. And leave some of the some of the under layer of paint, meaning using uh, transparency in what we do. Um, painting the background is now um, make the. Um, the center, the focal point, the oh, applied paint on my, my face. <laughs> oh, wow. um, uh, this can be a very joyful uh, painting. You can also just um, sketch this kind of a pot and. Uh, I can add a bit of um, this here, so it's somewhat connect with the background. Now I'm imagining <laughs> that I painted myself um, an Italian villa. Trying to lose 
loosen up and not uh, be too attached to anything, uh, which is a constant um, aspiration for me. Okay, very nice. Um, maybe I'd make the um, table a bit uh, brighter, um, even off-white or something like that. I can go on afterwards, after it dries, and scribble uh, some uh, floral movement or maybe petals with this or with this. I'm just thinking ahead and now what I will do uh, is use some um, let me see off-white not worrying about uh, right perspective and uh, right dimensions uh, is very freeing at art. Um, many famous painters uh, did, did this. Um, I think something inside us, uh, I would say even childish, part of us like this um, I'm wondering, um, no, I will leave it just on the, um, just on the table. I want to bring some of this uh, brightness here. So maybe like this. Mm. I think the best way um, to do this is by, by scribbling um, movement uh, with another uh, medium, not, uh, not just the, um, um, the acrylic. We need different mediums or different um, opacity to make an interest. This is also just cute. Uh, let me see what to do with the um, what to do with the legs. Maybe dark brown. Maybe um, soft black. Let me try the black. Diluted a bit and mixed with uh, what left on the on the brush. This kind of uh, paintings are very relaxing. Uh, maybe add a bit of black here. And now back with uh, with these pencils. Reinforcing the, the line. Okay, what uh, I can do also is doing this. Outlining the This is dry. No, it's not dry yet.
wanted to um, to let them dry um, but I can be careful and uh, do this anyway. Reinforcing a bit the shapes, not everything, just so it gives a all right. Um, at this point, uh, working further. Um, can be good or just throw in this um, primal energy of this um, we can uh, work further on this maybe just add a bit of um, uh, highlight here or is the paint but I would leave it at that stage to let it be um, with the fresh energy. Where is the, where is the, maybe even white here? No, I don't want to use the white. Sorry for the airplane noise. I can use my finger, but clean them uh, very well. fingers and uh, smashed uh, the, um, the acrylic here a bit um, I can call it finish I think that uh, working on this area uh, with more layers or more scribbles um, can make them uh, more special or more dynamic but uh, on the other ha hand um, touching it too much is going to ruin the, um, the fresh energy so this is for today I love 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 this painting I will um, <laughs> hang it uh, in front of my uh, face here on the on the wall you see I have uh, all of favorite things so i will put it here thank you for watching have a great day bye bye